Hey, this is Professor Triplett, and today we're going to look at how to set up a free website. This is what we want to create is a website. Uh, this is a professional Weebly account. It costs about $7 a month, uh, but I pay for it in advance to get the price low uh, at $7. I pay for it about two years at a time. And uh, what we want to do, though, is set up a free one. Uh, eventually, I suggest that everybody at least have a, a, a domain name of their own and set up a professional account uh, because of the fact that uh, you're looking to market yourself and you want to look like you're a professional. And to do that, you want to have your own website um, with your own, uh, you know, your own name and everything up there. So um, let's just talk about how we would do that. So. Uh, like I said, this time we're not going to do the professional account, we're going to do the free one because it's it's uh, fast and easy and anyone can do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and search for this. I've never done this before. Uh, I've only done the professional account, so uh, we'll say free, Weebly free account. And let's see. Let's see what we have. Create your own Weebly website. Okay. So let's go ahead and sign up. And it's got my personal email in there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this to, let's call this 3D Trip Print. Nah, you know what? Let's just change it to 3D Trip 2. And we'll go ahead and just leave it there. Full name, obviously. We have to put that in, and I'll go ahead and just say sign up. And we'll pause it. Oh, there we go. My internet's a little bit slow, so I apologize if it takes a little bit too long. Uh, what do you want to sell online? Or do you want to sell online? Uh, let's say not now. select a theme okay so I wouldn't get caught up on this stuff too much because you could always change this later I think this is more about like getting yourself going so I'm just gonna pick the first one actually you know what I take that back let me go back one more time um, oh, it took me back too far all right let's let's go to portfolio instead of business okay so here we go and I'll pick the first one out of here Oh, modus operandi, nice. So what's your MO? And so we got home, about, contact. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Um, obviously this, this person's in the plants. So let's go ahead and say, start editing. Okay. I paused it for a second because my internet's slow, so let's go ahead and look at, let's see, use a subdomain name of Weebly. This you can do if you don't have your own domain name. Um, this is something you want to do if you want to, uh, you know, if you want to pay for a domain name. I actually have an extra domain name that I'm not using right now um, that I paid for. But because I want to go along with the the whole uh, tutorial of a beginner, we're, let's just do it this way. So we're going to call this 3D Trip 2, just like I named my, uh, yeah, it's available. So nice. I'm going to go ahead and go continue. So I'm just, I was keeping in line with what my uh, website, or I should say my web address was. Okay, so um, we're basically ready to go here. Um, you can watch all kinds of tutorials uh, on Weebly on how to put together this website, but let me go ahead and just, um, so just do something really quick. So let's just grab, let's go into pages. So if we want to go ahead and make a page, so let's go ahead and make a standard page and the new page we're going to call CGT116. All right, and then we'll say 
publish. And let's see. That's strange that that came up again. I'm not sure why that came up. Okay, so here we go. So now we have a new page. So you can see that, um, let's actually go to, you know what, I'm not even sure exactly what my uh, domain name is yet. So uh, let's see here. Okay, so I have to find my domain name so I, so I can check and see how this is all looking. So I'm going to go into settings and here you can see I have this, this is my site address. So if I right click on this and say open link a new tab, I can go ahead and actually look at what my published site looks like at this point and it'll actually have my web address in there. So there we go. 3dtrip2.weebly.com. Okay, great. So let's go back to here. Now this is where uh, I can go ahead and build stuff. So let's go back to my pages. Um, so this is the page for my class. And what I want to do is, so you see it says click here to edit. This is pretty simple. Um, you can put a title in here and I'll go through just a few things. Uh, so for instance, you can change the background. If you click on the background, it'll say edit background and or you could say replace header layout. Let's just say edit background and uh, image. Now, here's the thing. Um, for whatever you're going to do here, try to put your own stuff. Um, I, every picture you see on my website, every single one of them is I've done every single picture. So uh, let's just say you're not massively into photography or anything like that. Everyone pretty much has a cell phone nowadays, though. Take some, just take some nice pictures, you know, here and there something cool and and use those as as headers on your pages or something uh, so you know for instance this one has a really good one the blog uh, this is a picture if it comes up faster so this is a picture of uh, the uh, well a lot of people call it the bean but it's actually called cloud gate uh, in downtown Chicago uh, I took this really early in the morning that's why you don't see many people around it uh, I did it with a fisheye lens. Uh, so, you know, get some nice pictures. They don't have to be perfect, but, you know, if you're going to put stuff on your website, just, just, you want to put your stuff, you know. So let's go ahead and just replace this. We're back to the site. And uh, you can go right here, upload from your computer, just click in there. And I actually, I, usually, I do a lot of photography. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my photography files if I can find them. If my brain's working, where's all my photography stuff? Oh, that's why I can't see them. There we go. Photography. And let's see. We'll do Hawaii. And let's grab a cool picture from Hawaii. Like, oh, let's not make this too long. So how about um, this one right here? So let's say open and it's going to go ahead and upload. Hopefully your internet's faster than mine. It'll upload a lot faster than this. And it's going to replace this back picture with that picture. Now it may crop it funny and stuff like that. So you may have to figure out like what's the right size. Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. Let's pause. Okay. After much loading time, the picture is now in there, um, so I can go ahead and hit save up here in the corner, and now that will be my background picture. Uh, typically when you're building your, your page, you would go into this build, and you can drag any of these headings out. So if you want to put a slideshow in here, an image, a link to an HD video, a uh, link to audio, spacers. Uh, it's pretty, most of it's self-explanatory, but I'll go ahead and just click in here and I'll just say uh, CGT, you know, 116. And so I know, you know, what I'm going going for here and it's going to be anything that's related to 116. So you can see it says lightly right here, drag element here. And let's, for instance, I can drag a text. So I can just put this on the bottom here and I can click into here. And I can say, 
these are links to models I have created. If I can type, I have created for Okay, so this t sounds totally amateur if you're, you know, like, but you are students. So later, you know, if you have some models that you really liked out of here that you want to keep for your portfolio when you uh, graduate, then, you know, you get rid of text like this and, and promote your, you can actually uh, transfer anything you put up here to a new page. So you don't have to have any of these text links. And if you want to delete the text link, you actually just can go over here and hit delete. But anyway, so for instance, we can sit there and draw, um, well, I say draw, drag, drag an image in. And let's say I'm going to go and upload um, a model that I've created. So let's just find something in my art files. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, so many. Let's look at, let's go ahead and just upload. This is a character I was modeling. Open. And of course, it's going to take forever again because it's a huge uh, file. So we'll pause.